Aatrox Vein. If, if he applies too much pressure, I don't think I have time to develop Zolani though. This is a good hand to keep, but if I keep this hand, I won't have any blockers for early game. That's a problem. But I guess I need to, right? To actually win the game too. So hopefully I join two of my it's like a Bakai or Zia units that can actually block. That's annoying too. Means I won't be able to play or get value. We have domination, which is you know bad. You don't really want to see that, but it is what it is. That's for second back I can play. I would like to have you on turn one so I can actually play you, but sure, but later never. Hmm, you're really useless. You just attack. That's actually pretty good. I guess I can play Azir for second back next turn, and there's a wrap. Yeah. So Zolani on my next attack will be at. You'll be at 10 10 if this works out. If he strikes Azir down, then I'm bad. I'm so bad. I guess I'll go with this now. I could play this, yeah. For Chuff Chuff Zolani, which is nice. If he strikes Azir down, I do that. Hand me a weapon. I got sure, to put I could down. Q Azir later on, which is a bit annoying, but I guess I could still go for this play. Together, you are children of Shurima. So I just attack like this. So you're a chop chop now, pretty good. Do your best. I don't remind if he blocks. If he kills this, if, if bird die, that's a, a tiny bonus, which is nice. That's pretty good. You're a chop chop now. But I just need to grow grow Zalani a bit. This is Ryan Negation, I don't have, I have time to play Ryan Negation and Zolani at the same time though. Scout really annoying, if you play Dark and Hard that's uh, really really bad. Please don't play Dark and Hard, okay just attacks. I can just block like this. I, mm, I guess I just gotta block the most damage. I can play you. I guess I can play you. I can play you, right? As blockers or attackers if I need to. I've got nothing to lose. Yep, he just opened attacks now. He doesn't pull a Zia, interesting. Tradition. I guess I block like this. Fire damage. I guess I'll just block like this. Next turn will be turn 6, sadly. If only it was turn 7, I can actually play Zolani on turn 7. On my attack, right? So I need to wait until turn 8 before I can play Zolani, actually. Which is the bad part. He hasn't played any catch, interesting. He hasn't really played any equipment. So he won't be getting Aatrox. Or he already had Aatrox in hand, so that's the I should stamp you out like the insect you quick attack. Are. Sure. Fish fight, annoying. So I guess that's why he buffed the attack. I can let this go through, I guess. I guess I still play you. See what we see, soldier. Don't waste my time. Yep, so Zolani is actually leveled on my next attack. Will be leveled on my next attack. He plays Aatrox here, most likely. Vain, interesting. He's gonna get scouted again. Shadow. So I guess I save my... Yeah, I just attack like this. So I guess I save mana for fire negation. But next time he can get tumble again. He can get scouted, which is the bad part. Ugh, I don't really like this position I'm in. The problem with this deck is that it goes too high against Solan for Solani, but it doesn't really have anything to, you know, survive, I guess you could say, in the early game. That's a dark attack. So he doesn't tumble here, interesting. So I guess I could buff this up. So if this dies, also go to Solani, right? A tiny bonus. Sure. I have Rider Negation, so that's that. So I'm guessing he attacks with these units only. And then he just tumbles. To attack with Scout to give Scout. Which I will I will gladly recommend. He does just attack with Scout just there. Not the play I was I thought he was going for, but sure. Crawl. 
I guess I can block like this. What what will happen if I play Zolani here? I don't think anything bad could happen if I play Zolani here. Strike spells won't be able to kill Zolani. Rallies I can just gladly block with Zolani. She's a 12, a 20, 22. So I don't think there's any bad would happen if I actually play Zolani here. I could just play Desert Help and use him as a blocker, but that's still equally as bad. Hmm. Okay, he's gonna open attack with everything. I'm gonna use Desert Naturalist, uh, no Doom Keeper to block the 6 tree, and he gets the push for 6 damage only. Veil won't be able to level. I play this, and if he tumbles here, I'll be using this to buff this guy. So if I would just use this, he's gonna be a strike spell, man. Uh, I need to use this. It does destroy a mana gem, but next turn I will have 7 mana again, so I can actually play Zolani again next turn. I need to do this, I can't take too much damage. So I use this to buff this guy, right? He gets life steal. Pretty good. And also, if he dies, I get to. What? I get another unit to to block with. So I'm guessing he used this to pull this one. Pull this one, interesting. Sure, I guess. Keep your distance. Justice be swift. I won't. I. Hmm. He gets the tumble. I guard this. this flame. I guess this Justice is the play. Be swift. QQ Vein right yeah. If I, I block what whichever unit I just block, I just go down the six, so I just gotta do this. If only I can play this twice, so I can get another one of you. But it is what it he, he doesn't use Thumble. Sure. Oh silence could completely destroy me. It doesn't have silence. Yeah, it doesn't have silence. Whew. Thank you game. Oh, so satisfying. I can't really answer this. He had the time to answer with silence, but it's too late now. Thank you, GG. Lulu Jinx, interesting. Might be a bit hard, but I'll see what I can do. Hopefully, I got, uh, get Solani here. Um, Domination is nice to let help grow Zolani, right? So that's that. Turn 2, turn 3, turn 4. If I can get Zolani, then you actually be useful. But not like he has removal spells, right? So this is completely useless, I guess you could say. Come on, you need to predict into Zolani, would be nice. There's Zolani, that's good. Also, grow this by 1 1, which is, you know, nice. If he dies, he, he grows Zolani by 2 2. Yay, okay, bonus. Can I attack? I guess I need to use this to block something. You can also kill Lulu, which is a tiny bonus, so I guess I just don't attack here. There's Zolani. Pretty cool. Sure, I can develop this, I guess. Hope he doesn't play another one cost unit. He plays Portal Cannon. Sure. Do I block? I don't think I block because I might need to save this to block Lulu, which is in um, Lulu. So I need to block Lulu. That's harsh, I guess. The chime didn't hit the dashing portal, so that's the play domination here. Like oh yeah, good thing I didn't off. block, right? Because I kinda need to use this as an attacker so I can summon another group of always thing. Uh, that's annoying. And I guess there's no real reason to attack here because my. Uh, sense of you won't be uh, buffed, so I guess I just don't need attack here. No reason to. Then I can get Desert Wrath, that'd be nice. Azir, but I need, I need the like domination and stuff like that to so actually buff my unit, so. Just then. Mmm, sure. What's only about 4 4? I guess I can play Azir, sure. Give Azir illusion, right? Also, grow 6 6 now. Sure. Next I can play this. If I get Desert Rev, then I guess I'll play Desert Rev. Another portal cannon annoying. Sure. Hopefully it doesn't have the focus speed spell that buffs everything by 2-2 two, two when they are created or something like that. I guess I can play Domination here. You are nothing. Worthless. Challenge House Impressive. is nice. For Sandcrafter, I'm guessing I'll play her next turn. And then I'll play Zolani. 
So because I have a elusive attacker, that's pretty nice actually. That's yes, Jinx. If I play you, I summon two sand soldiers, they'll get buffed. Time. And buff Solani too, that's pretty nice. He's not gonna block here, I don't think so. Yeah, he doesn't block here. Zolani's a 10-10 now. You get buffed if Azir dies or if the challenger unit dies. That's a bit annoying. Jinx my level next turn, which is the bad part. So I need to try to win at least on my next attack. That's quicksand. A possibility to come back, I guess. Let's go. He attacks with Jinx always. He doesn't attack with Jinx? Interesting. Hmm. So this unit dies. Buffed it by 16 again. I need more units to die. I need a block, definitely. I guess always quicksand here. Yeah. Ba the quicksand is basically just heals me, so I gotta go for that. Domination does die here, I need a block damage, but it is what it is. I'm guessing a uh, interesting. I got Hush Jinx this turn, so I can prevent her from leveling. Because not like I can level Zolani this turn, right? But it's just a 12 12 attacker if I. Uh, yeah, I guess I. Yeah, sure. Everyone I want Zolani to transform, but I guess it still works because Zolani is a 6 uh, 12 12 people will. So I guess I play you. Emperor, you taught me to command the stance. Yeah, but 12 12 now. I pass. Oh, she doesn't play this card. So it must be the 6 card card. The 6 cost 3 3 that. Deals 3 damage to a unit and discards all his hand. Must be that card then if he's not discarding that card. I guess I always just play Zolan here even if she doesn't transform. I just want to tank, yeah. Get excited again? Yep. Sure. Do I win here? I just hack. Powered again. 4 4. I guess I just always pull Jinx here. Yeah. So this is just Nito, right? Yeah, this is just Nito. I just pull Jinx away, so yeah, GG. Kinda wanted to see Zolani transform, but a win is still a win. Good game. Ping. Bonk. GG. Rumble vein, it's gonna be really bad because he's gonna apply too much pressure before I can actually go for the Zolani play. I don't have even Zolani, so I guess I also always full Morgan for the Zolani here. That's my Vincon, right? Uh, this is pretty bad. I mean, it's good to grow Zolani, but no early game units to block. Eh, it's something, but you won't be in power to get flash 2, which is the bad part. He passed on turn 1. I guess I can pass. Hopefully, I get the landmark on turn 2 so I can turn 2 play something. Did not, so that's that. I'm sure. I guess I always play Doom uh, Domination here. What could he play? He could play Vayne on, on curve, which is the bad part. Hopefully he doesn't have Vayne on curve. That'd be great. I'm cold he doesn't have Vayne on curve. I'll gladly points. take it. Impressive. Regeneration on Azir is interesting. It's my time. I I guess yeah, I always like this code too. Also buff the attack, right? Yeah. Just so I can grow Azir a bit a bit more. Yep, he draws into Rumble, so I'm expecting a Rumble next turn, which is the bad part. I play you or Zia now. Both does the same thing, but you need to actually attack. If I play Azir, I would have mana for Divide and Kelp, so that's not. I guess I'd go for Azir. Sharima, your emperor has it's a 3 6, free there, huh? This is actually. Uh, it's fine, board, I guess. Because he didn't actually have anything on turn 1 to do turn 3. Past. Interesting. He's waiting for me to attack. Yeah, sure, I guess. Then I get attacked. Yeah, alright then. Next turn, I'm going to use Desert's Wrath to block his uh, Rumble. He blocked like this, anything. So I'm guessing he has like something to strike down the Zia with a unit. If he doesn't, yeah, that's fine by me. 
He plays Rumble here always. It's turn for perfectly perfect time to play Rumble. Yep. So I'm guessing he has a single combat, the strike down a Zia. That's what I'm guessing at least. Which I have Pale Casket to answer if he does do that. He doesn't. Okay, that's fine by me. So next this turn I guess I just use that's a ref. Please join to Zolani here. I need to actually find my Zolani, that's a bad part to actually win the game. Another attack, so it's gonna level Rumble here, so I definitely use that as Wrath here first, so I can start to block with them. Could potentially try to win with Sand Soldiers, yes, but it's kind of boring, right? Because the whole point of this deck is supposed to be Zolani, but did not get her, right? I could top deck her potentially, because next turn I'll be turn 6, I'll be able to at least try to level her on, on attack, so that's that. I guess this I'll wait for him to attack again. Let's see what he does. Need a light. He attacks with this one too. Gives me chance to life steal. I mean sure. That's always nice. He doesn't yeah. He always needs to use this as a blocker for him. So I guess to do this. Yep. Working as intended. Good you go! So now I guess I just play you. Yeah, sure. My name echoes through every rock, every canyon. I can buff you too. Yeah. All right. I can pass skin. Did not. Oh yeah, it'll be turn six. Zolani's seven cost. Attack like this. Attack like this. It'll be nine out of thirteen. I'll be getting life steal back, which is nice. If he doesn't have the overwhelm. The stuff that gives Rumble away, I could technically try to block, 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 which is nice. Do I develop here though? If, he de if I develop, he might kind of lose on the life steal, not even giving me a chance to life steal, which is the bad part. So I guess I just take the overhead and life steal a bunch. It's not a bunch, it's just three, but it's still good enough. Maybe I should have open attack. That's a possibility, but I want the Zia to be alive. The combination of the buff, my future Sand Soldiers is also pretty good. He doesn't block the life steal, interesting. But, but I guess he just wants to block the most damage, right? Which I can understand, I guess. He could have single combat. Or the 3 mana uh, attacking enemy strikes. Another attacking... Uh, attacking ally strikes, another attacking enemy or something like that. It's basically Draven champion spell he might have, but he did not. Sure, I can take this. I'm still at 19 health. I could still very easily die here. But... As long as he doesn't give Rumble Overwhelm, I think I should be fine. No oh, that can actually give Rumble no Overwhelm, which is the bad part. I guess I always play Emperor's DF, and on next turn I play... Oh, that's a bad play. I guess I block the Domination then. Yeah, definitely block the Domination. Yep, giving him Overwhelm. Interesting. Do I block with Azir? I mean, I could. He has two mana. Let's try blocking with Vazir. Let's go. Let's try. Let's sunburst, but it's pretty useless at this point. I need to find Zolani for this game. If he has something to buff, then sure. If he doesn't, then. Hey, that's good for me. I'm still trying to mitigate as much damage as possible, so this. Oh, he actually doesn't. Oh, that's really good for me. He does generate a Mecha Yoda, but it, it is what it is. I could just. Do this because he's definitely gonna use the two on the pull this guy, so I might as well just get another unit on board when she dies. That's pretty good actually. Oh, there's a Lani. How big are you? 18, 8. All right. Come on. Just because you rumble die. You don't. Man, I wanted the showcase class, but I still won, so GG I guess. Look what we have built. 